as I indicated in the previous section that there are about uh, 9 to 10 rules for uh, reducing the given block diagram into a single block. As block diagram consists of uh, various summing points, takeoff points and functional description of individual components. Rule 1 was so simple when the blocks are connected in cascade. How to reduce that blocks in cascade into a single block? Second rule when the blocks are in parallel then what will be the resultant? Rule 3 how to eliminate the feedback loop? Any loop basically it consists of three components summing point, blocks, two blocks and one takeoff point. So, eliminating a feedback loop was rule 3 that we have seen and rule 4, 5 they were actually takeoff point when takeoff point is to be shifted ahead of a block or after a block and then 6 and 7 that shifting of summing point after a block or ahead of a block. So, it may look like an additional block is generated while uh, applying the rule but it is definitely for simplification process only. And uh, rule 8 and 9 also we have seen all these rules, all these rules we may not apply for a single block diagram. We may apply one or two rules then the block diagram may become very simple. So, let us see a uh, couple of examples how to apply these rules for the given complex block diagram and find out the overall transfer function. So, you can see this uh, block diagram, I say that it is a complex block diagram. When you see this G2 block and uh, with this uh, feedback here, so the value of H is 1 and this is also the unity feedback control system. Like uh, there is no component or block in the feedback path, so we say that it is a unity feedback. Like when you have G in a forward path, H in the feedback path, then the eliminating this particular feedback loop, we have seen in uh, rule 3 that G by 1 plus or minus G H. Eliminating the feedback loop with G as a forward path gain and H as a feedback path gain and this is the resultant of eliminating such a feedback loop. Now, H value is 1 and H is equal to 1 here. So, there will not be any H here, there will not be any H here. So, you have G by 1 plus G or 1 minus G depending on the polarity that is given here. Now, suppose you can see that if this point is not there, if this point is not there, then happily you can say that this G2 with this unity feedback, you can eliminate this feedback loop by applying rule 3 that G by 1 plus G. So, this point is creating the problem. This takeoff point is creating the problem. So, I must shift that takeoff point to after a block. So, there was a rule we have already discussed that shifting of this takeoff point to after a block. So, let us see now, you can see that the rest of the block diagram you have not changed, it remains same, but only the takeoff point I have shifted to after a block, it becomes like this and there is a unity feedback anyway with negative sign here. So, now you can see that the diagram has become simple because of shifting of this takeoff point to after a block. Now, I can happily eliminate this feedback loop whose components are G2, unity feedback and this summing point. So, the rest of the block diagram I am not disturbing, but this shift of takeoff point 
will create some block here some block here because what is the signal actually going from here take off point to this particular one is before g2 but when i am shifting this take off point to after a block this signal here after g2 is multiplied by g2 if i say that this signal is x then the signal along this path is y that is equal to x times g2 x times g2 so signal is multiplied by g2 here along this path so when i am shifting this take off point from here to here the signal was here x but here it is gx so i must use here i must use a block of 1 by g2 1 by g2 so that the output should remain same because the take off point output is x here but when i am shifting this after a block that the gain available here is multiplied by g2 that's why i am using 1 by g2 so that output should remain same so in the process of simplification additional block is generated but no problem still i'll be happy that you can see now this portion i can eliminate this feedback loop so what is the resultant of that uh, elimination of this feedback loop is g2 by 1 plus g2 because there is no feedback element it is unity feedback now this g1 remains same this g1 remains same this is the output y and this is the summing point you have and there is a block here the additional block is created because of shift of take off point is 1 by g2 1 by g2 and 1 by g2 now these two blocks are in cascade so the product of two individual blocks will be a single block g1 g2 by 1 plus g2 and in the feedback path there is a block 1 by g2 now you call that 1 by g2 as h and that forward path block g1 g2 or g2 g1 by 1 plus g2 as g now it is a loop it is a feedback loop with a negative sign here so you can eliminate that feedback loop to get the overall transfer function as g by 1 plus gh where g is this and h is 1 by g2